Waklom to the Daily Roundup coming up. Haley Bieber has revealed why she and Justin Bieber often dress like they are on two separate planets. Daniel Radcliffe has made a documentary about his paralyzed former Harry Potter stunt Double David Holmes. And Paris Hilton condemns cruel trolling of baby son. All this coming up on iCelebrity News. Haley Bieber has revealed why she and her husband Justin Bieber often dress like they are on two separate planets. The model, 26, and singer, 29, who married in 2018, are regularly trolled for looking totally different when they go out to events, and Haley has now revealed it is because they get dressed at different times. She told GQ Hype when the magazine noted they often look like they are from two separate planets when they are out. It's so funny because I see so many people talk about this. Daniel Radcliffe has made a documentary about his former Harry Potter stunt double David Holmes, who was left paralyzed after an onset accident. The actor, who played the title role in the film series, worked with David Holmes for 10 years until the action man broke his neck while working on 2010 installment Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one, and was unable to walk again. Daniel is now bringing his pal's story to the screen in a film titled David Holmes, The Boy Who Lived. David took to Instagram to unveil the film plans, writing, Being a stuntman was my calling in life, and doubling Harry was the best job in the world. In January 2009, I had a stunt rehearsal accident that changed my life forever. This film tells the story of not just my achievements in front of camera, but also the challenges I face every day, and my overall attitude to life after suffering a broken neck. Paris Hilton has warned the cruel trolling of her baby son Phoenix is unacceptable. The 42-year-old hotel heiress drew attention to the nasty comments about her nine-month-old boy earlier this week after trolls started mocking the size of Phoenix's head, and she's now admitted the abuse hurts her heart. But she feels like she would be painted as a bad mother if she didn't share pictures of him. In an emotional post on X, formerly known as Twitter, she wrote, Living life in the spotlight, Comments are inevitable, but targeting my child, or anyone else's for that matter, is unacceptable. This hurts my heart more than words can describe. I've worked hard to cultivate an environment that is all about love, respect, and acceptance, and I expect the same in return. If I don't post my baby, people assume I'm not a great mother, and if I do post him, there are some people who are cruel and hateful.